Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. So, one of my favorite builds in recent times has been the mech scam build with Kangor, with Omega Buster, with Baron, and with all the craziness that seems to happen all at once. Now, it is a build that I have played and forced so many times that I have made mistakes and blundered situations that were otherwise pretty good builds. Thankfully, and I do understand this when people say they will actually make mistakes. It feels good to know that some people make them as well. Well, it is hilarious when you see your opponent do just that. Okay, why can't I see like descriptions for the heroes? Okay, that thing that thing didn't work. Why did it not work? I mean fine. Uh Mex and Marlox. I guess I'll go for ten armor. Okay. Isn't it this? Enable tier seven. Show I Battlegrounds picking stats. Why didn't it do that? What what am I what am I screwing up? Should I freeze? I want like the nugger. It works randomly for you. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Fine, I'll restart the the thing and the game on the next one and we'll see maybe that does it. I enabled some other thing too. So. Has been a single lead you can think of where the lead mechanic hasn't been the forefront. Oh, okay. Uh. I mean, there have been a few. You were great in that like a lot of leagues are like economy leagues, where where they're not the forefront of power, they're just the forefront of currency or something like that. There's a lot of currency in this league, not for ruthless. Keep it up. Your it's Remus, thank you. You look, I mean, you did amazing out there. I mean, that's not that's not too bad. Like an okay Murloc starter pack. Yeah. yeah, Dark and Darker look pretty interesting. You're unstoppable. Tavish. Yeah, that order's fine. No shirt. It's a Mandalorian shirt. It's your destiny to win this. Amazing out there. Then watch the new season of Mandalorian. Yeah, I really like Mandalorian. I think Mandalorian is my favorite Star Wars series out of the recent ones. Uh, I think. I think the highest quality one was Andor, but I, I, I just I like Mandalorian more. It's more like, uh, old school. Yeah, I think Andor is, um... Is the best made one, yeah. But I just like Mandalorian more. You were great in that battle. That was pretty weak. Andor. Captain Cassian Andor making his first appearance in the Rogue One movie. The series is basically his origin story, but there is a bit of a gap in his origin story and Rogue One. 
and I would say it's a rather large gap. So I think we should expect more uh, from Andor. I actually re-watched Rogue One after seeing the Andor series. It was that good. And uh, I actually gained a lot more appreciation for the Rogue One movie. When I first saw Rogue One, I wasn't too impressed. Read Star Wars? No, I don't read anything. I read Twitch chat, that's about it. Class choice for Diablo 4. I'm mostly looking at Wizard or Sork. I don't I don't know if it's Wizard or Sork. This is a great look for you. I think Barb's gonna be way too clicky. And usually melee is not good in ARPG games. And I don't expect this to be any different. It's Sork. Fine, let's let's do a turn. Oh, you yeah. deserve That's Here, not have a bad. Go. See, here's here's what we can do. I've got my permits. Actually, I think I'd rather do it next turn. Oh, he's hitting for eight. I think I'd still rather do it next turn. <laughs> Alright, Necroskelly. Triple play wizard in Diablo, but not wizard in Hogwarts. My choice for wizard is pretty loose. It's not set in concrete, but it has to do with... Uh, I can't play something that's too clicky, and I don't think melee will be good. And I also don't think summons are good. I think the highest chance to be overpowered is wizard. The thing with, like, minion builds especially in like Diablo games, is that like, because they play themselves, there's rarely like broken combos or things of that sort. Like, Necker is gonna range from bad to like pretty decent. I don't know for a fact, but trust me, that's what it's gonna be, okay. Bad to pretty decent. That's Necro, 100%. Um, I think melee is probably not going to be very good. You look, I mean, you did amazing out there. Oh, I like that a lot. That is a noble minion on your side. There's some good new recruits here. Don't let them get away. I'll yeah. keep them safe for you. I think there's some potential with a uh, druid. So right now I'm like 65% wizard. Sorry, sorcerer. Sorcerer. Let's say 30% druid and like 5%. I'm totally wrong about this and we'll have to see on the demo. That's that's where I stand with uh, with Diablo class selection. When I played at uh, BlizzCon, the original Diablo 4 preview, the coolest class that was playable during that time was Druid. It was just really well done. Certain abilities would shape shift you just like during the ability, and you could you could basically play a caster and use wolf form and use bear form. And it was just kind of like a dynamic, shape-shifting party. So, like, the cool factor from the limited experience I have definitely goes to Druid. But Druid's also part melee, so hmm, we'll see. out there, but I know you can handle it. I have witnessed the true end time. That is pretty good.
Melee is fine in PoE. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen how busted martial arts assassin is in D2R right now? Yes, I have actually. I hate to be the naysayer, but I don't think it's more busted than Blizzork and Hammered In. I think it's about on par. And making a class on par with like the historic go-to classes, that's fine. I know you can win this thing. I haven't seen much about it then. It's way more busted. I don't think so. Three percent. That is pretty good. You're pushing your luck, little thing. Is there anything more beautiful than this minion's loyalty? Why, of course, I can take that one in. Here's a gold for it. Oof. One's a work of art. That one's a work of art. End time. Are you on the guest list? Two max? What? Okay. I poison this because I don't have a divine shield for it. And this has really high health compared to what it's compared to its attack. Thank you for the blessing of girth and fortitude. Thank you. It's your destiny to win this. Well, a lot of people are playing that build because they're sick of playing the same powerful builds literally forever. But I know you can handle it. The light thing is surprisingly good. <sighs> that is a noble minion on your side. You're pushing your luck. That minion will stick with you to the end. My only Murloc, so actually that works. Destroy! I'll do what I can. You deserve better. Here, have a gold. Better. Here, have a go. See what happens when you dress for success? Should I sell? Maybe the ball of minions? I don't know. 
That minion will stick with you to the end. Dragon. That was a weird lag. I'll do what I can. That's a joke. That one's a work of art. I have witnessed the true end time. Are you on the gifts? It's a pretty good build, but it's not like crazy. Keep it up, your minions are dependent on you. Dex. For me, excellent. Should I level? I think so. Finding like a Nadina would be pretty crazy. Tex, quiet. Recruits here. Don't let them get away. Sleepy. You're unstoppable. She beat Alastraza. Wow. Fine, let's try Bran for now. That one has a pure heart. I can tell. Yeah. So we just have to find Nadina and a few more battle cries. Naga's probably not better. He had a big cleave last time. Okay. I mean, if you're talking about Super Bowl, wasn't that like a week ago? It's old news. Uh, I didn't watch Super Bowl. I didn't watch the ha halftime show. I think Rihanna was playing or something, and apparently she did it for free for exposure. 
I mean, it's nice on her behalf, but if if, if it's the goddamn Super Bowl, I would have insisted that we pay her something. So that's, I don't know. I think that's kind of messed up on their part, but okay. And yeah, apparently, uh, apparently some Redditors thought it was the worst halftime uh, musical performance ever. But apparently every single one uh, is pre-recorded and lip-synced. And I was thinking it's like, if you're bad at lip syncing, is that really a fault? You know? But she didn't have enough practice? Okay, <laughs> I mean, it's good. Yeah, I think that guy just got a Golden Baron and didn't quite realize where it was going to go. The answer is... nowhere. I mean, that was... that was a decent effort if it didn't kill the rest of his board, so... 